Yo, 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 YouTube, what it do? Hydrix69, aka Monster Mobile Boy, back with another video. And today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to get higher kill games in Fortnite Mobile right now. Right now, I've been able to break all of my kill records. My solo kill record is now 29. My solo squad is now 32. So I know you guys can break your records, and it's super easy right now. So, starting off with the drop. If you guys have a hot drop for either salty, pleasant, or lazy, I would recommend that you go there. And if not, and you have a weird bus path, or you just don't feel like going to one of those places, I would highly, highly recommend the agency. But the key about the agency is, you're not really going to look for many kills there. Usually only one team drops there, so there's not too many kills. You just want to find Jules immediately, get her grappler, and then ditch out to either Salty or any of those other locations that I mentioned in the beginning. So the key after getting a good drop is making sure you have a way to get around the map quickly. Now the grappler is probably the best way to do this. However, I would also really recommend you use cars as well as helicopters. And if you go to either lazy, salty, or pleasant, there's always cars there. I would recommend going with the truck because they usually come with the most gas and you can get the furthest as well as get pretty fast on the trucks. They're pretty underrated. In my opinion, helicopters are even better than cars just because you can get a bird's eye view of where your enemies are and they have that white outline so you can see them from super far away. I really find my helicopters most of the time at either the agency and or frenzy. Getting into some weapon recommendations for high kill games, I really recommend you guys use the charge over the TAC just because the TAC sometimes is better when it has that fast fire rate, however it just doesn't hit for as hard of a damage, so I like the charge because you only really need one or two shots to really knock your opponent, where the TAC might be good in build fights where you need to get off some quick shots, however it makes these fights go a lot longer where you have the charge and you can just one pump somebody and it makes super easy quick fights. I would also recommend that you guys use a burst instead of the AR. The burst has so much more range and you can really shoot people from so much farther than you could with the AR and have your accuracy on point. Make sure you're not worrying about your health too much. Usually if you're above 120 HP or so, you should be fine. I really would only recommend carrying minis and or chug splashes just because they're super quick and easy to get fast heals. I highly recommend you guys play super aggressive right now because most of the players you'll be fighting are either AI bots or people who are just really not that good at the game. If you guys are trying to play better people, I recommend doing creative fill because that'll help you. But play super aggressive in your pub matches because that's how you're going to get high kills as well as how you're going to become a better player by playing passive. It really just doesn't help you improve as much as it does when you play aggressive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you break your kill record. Let me know if this helps. And with that being said, that's going to be it from me. Peace.